Talking about going forward, let's talk about Burberry. Burberry Fall 2024, Ready to Wear Collection. I've got some of my highlights here on the screen that I thought I would pick out in terms of, you know, some of the stuff that I did like. The rest of it, obviously, I didn't like. But I think just to give you an overall, you know, my overall view, I'm still of the thinking that most of it just looks very frumpy. Daniel Lee hasn't been able to execute that crisp, almost minimalistic feel he had when he was at Bottega Veneta. And maybe the reason why is because it wasn't really his um, doing. Because we're seeing that Matteo Blasi now, that he's now taken over at Bottega Veneta, somebody that was part of his team while he was there, he's been able to keep up that sort of aesthetic that we saw when Bottega first came around and it was pretty successful. I think it might have been at 2019 or something. But nowadays, when Daniel Lee's gone to Burberry, we've not seen that same level of finish, that same level of crispness, that same minimalism, that same cleanliness. It all just looks a bit frumpy. It all looks a little bit too all over the place. It all looks a little bit too layered. It all looks a little bit too messy. I just don't like it personally. I think it looks horrendous. And one thing I've realized checking up some of these pictures is that some of the pieces are okay in the actual looks going down the runway. But together, style, they're not the greatest. So even the stuff that I don't like in the collection, it might be quite decent if it's styled better. But I think the styling of this collection is really does leave a lot to be desired. Um, but individually, there are some pieces in here that are pretty decent. Number one look on the runway features Agnes Dean, which is a pretty good nod. So I think one thing Daniel Lee's done really well at Burberry is reintroduce Burberry into the cultural zeitgeist and let it become like a cool brand. He has all the right people at the front row, loads of interesting icons in culture when it comes to Britain and whatnot. Great, amazing, we love to see it. And obviously Agnes Dean being a legendary model, it was great to see her on the runway again. She doesn't, I think she's retired if I'm not mistaken. Um, so she be able to kind of open this Burberry show was pretty cool to see. No, don't, don't get me wrong. And the look itself was, you know, fairly okay. The pants are pretty nice. Um, there are some decent stuff that I liked, like this um, knitted um, dress thing with some of the tassels on the end was pretty cool. Um, even though I'm not a fan of brown, on black people's skin. I don't know why I'm one of those weirdos that don't like wearing brown, even though it probably would look good on me. Um, I really did like this look as well in this jacket. I think the up the, the top half is really cool. I like the top half. The rest of it, I don't like at all. The top half with the Burberry scarf wrapped around his head, like he's a babushka is really nice. The cut of this leather pilot or flight jacket is really cool. But then the pants are horrendous. Like, I don't know why he designed the pants this way with these like zips on the front. Like I think on the along the pleat line where you can zip them both ways and sort of like have your whole, have your knee kind of poking out. I don't know. I don't really get the, the, the use of those sort of pants. I think they look horrible personally. I quite like this suit look here even though the tailoring doesn't look the greatest and it looks kind of frumpy i quite like that suit look i'm not gonna lie that suit look is definitely something that i would definitely wear um it's kind of like in a yellowy ombre kind of color i'm a real big fan of that um i love this coat this fur coat is beautiful i'm not gonna lie i'm not sure if it's fur pile whatever it may be um maybe it's sheepskin who knows but whatever this finishes in this yellow colorway is absolutely gorgeous like i love this coat that coat looks really cool and obviously the boots i also do like them as well um this look with this model again i'm not too sure if it's the model looking like a badass or if it's the clothes that fit them amazing but this looks great. Um, the scarf um, on top of the dress, which is on, underneath the jacket. And you've got the grey boots. I'm really fond of that one. So that's one of my favourites as well. You've got a really nice, great look here with this. This dress on the inside is amazing. It almost looks like a really big scarf. You know, that's what it kind of looks like. It almost looks like a really big scarf that's been kind of transformed into a, into a dress. I really like to like the look of that one. Um, you've got another model too. I think her name is like Lily, Lily Coles or something. I think she's a model that was like in university. She studied something like mathematics or something. She's super brainy, but happened to also be like a runway model. She's like a legend for back in the day. I think it's that like Lily something. I think if I'm not mistaken. So she was on the runway too. I loved her look as well. Her look was fucking banging. Um, I love this jacket. Um, it looks like it's a jacket that has like a, um, an inside lining that makes it look like it's got a scarf on the inside if, if i'm not mistaken or maybe it's been styled that way but i do like that jacket i think that's a really hard look especially with the boots and then you got this like detail of the little chain around the ankle i think that looks really cool um i also love this coat again the coats in the collection were really cool this coat i think it's called a funnel neck if i'm not mistaken where the collar sort of like comes right up above your neck like that i think this is really cool um i love the clasp as well on the side there where you can sort of like you know 
lock the fucking jacket on. I think that looks really nice. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I love the look of that. So that looks really cool. And then you've got some nice, pa and again, the pants and the boots, I'm not really too fond of, but I think that jacket, that coat as a coat itself looks absolutely stupendous. Naomi Campbell was there as well, even though she's been shouted in controversy, you know, she's been accused of being, you know, on flipping Epstein's Island. She's been accused of being a bully. Loads of things have been going on there. But one thing about Auntie Naomi, she always turns up for work. She always turns up for work. She catches a check, keeps it moving. So Auntie Naomi looked pretty cool as well. I, again, an extension of that kind of like furry, um, piley looking dress thing that kind of looks similar to the scarf. I kind of like the look of that as well. So big up Auntie Naomi for not letting the naysayers distract her from collecting the checks and cashing in her money. I love this jacket also. Same sort of flavor. You got these really nice tassels at the end. This sort of reminds me a little bit of the Prada jacket from previous seasons of menswear that everyone's been going crazy about it's the Prada jacket that's got the sort of like on the arms it's all like got these like um furry kind of um stripe stripes around the arms and shit it kind of reminds a little bit of that but instead of got them around the arms you got them at the end here of the cuff and you got some bottom bits here towards the hem as well um again a lovely jacket the jacket is collection are always great um with this great funnel neck and I guess it's got this like guard with studded buttons on a thing that you can clip on the front as well that looks fucking fantastic and of course this big skirt which is probably one of my favorite looks i'm not gonna lie this look here at the end might be one of my favorites from the actual whole collection itself i really do like the look of that that was definitely one of my favorite ones but again like i said it's been quite underwhelming um daniel lee at burberry not really been pulling up any trees um i've been out a few times lately and I haven't seen many people wearing this stuff. I've seen some scarves here and there, but I haven't seen a lot of people actually wearing the shit on the road. The people I've seen on social media wearing it look like they get it for free or they at least buy it for cost value or something. They've got some connection with Burberry. They know some people in fashion. I haven't seen a lot of regular people wearing it. I've not seen a lot of Asian people. I've not seen a lot of black people. I just haven't seen it. And I think even, even um, what's his name? Even um, Ricardo Tishi at fucking Burberry earlier on, he was at least, I saw a few people wearing the stuff that he designed there. I think that um, famously that jacket, that bomber jacket, the puffer um, that everyone was wearing, I think it might have been, I forgot who wore it first. I think it might, I forgot who wore it first actually, but that was really popular at the time. But I haven't seen anybody really checking it out, even though Skepta wears it quite well and does his bit with it. I haven't seen a lot of regular people out there fucking stunting and making it look good. So um, it doesn't seem like it's really hit the cultural zeitgeist really, but again, you know, maybe it will improve along the way, but I really do doubt it. But those are some of my favorite pieces from Burberry recently, from Burberry recently